Okay guys, uh, I'm just going to do a new build here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart my current Antec build uh, and there's a few pieces I'm going to keep keep such as the uh, graphics card, the reservoir, uh, the radiator and some other stuff but what I'm going to do with this is uh, this is an old case, uh, pretty basic case. Uh, there's really nothing much to it. Got a couple of drive bays. It's got some room back here for cable management. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer into here my uh, Asus motherboard with the i5 250K uh, CPU. I'm going to put in the thermal take water unit here, except I don't have the reservoir. So I'm going to cut out this portion here and mount a tube reservoir in there along with the thermal take pump uh, which will go up to the radiator which will be up here then out the top from the top thing here uh, I'm going to cut an exhaust hole here such as I did for this fan on the side and the exhaust of the thermal take radiator will be right up the top here um, the side panel I'm going to cut so the window is going to come here like so so this will all be clear and then I'm going to do a small window here that's going to be lit up with the reservoir in the back so the reservoir uh, hard drive 1, hard drive 2 resin pump and then that's going to come up to the radiator into the CPU and back into the radiator so uh, first things first I gotta start cutting these things out and uh, and then I'm going to get to painting the case, cleaning it up, painting it, uh, getting it ready for the movement of the parts, and then uh, I'll be receiving that reservoir. All right, everything's coming along rather quickly, actually. All the cutting's gone real smooth and real easy. Uh, finish the exhaust up here, which is going to be like that, and all around the corners, I'm going to have uh, rubber around the corners, so you can't see any of that, and I'm also painting it. I'm going to paint this black as well, I think. So that exhaust is perfect. Um, now I'm thinking about the loop, and it's just a CPU loop, but I found that I want the pump, so the reservoir is going to go here, let me move back, you can see the reservoir is going to go right here, it's going to be, and I found a way to put the pump at the back here, so I'm going to go for it here, and I cut some incisions, so it will go right there, so it exhausts out here. I'm going to put a 45 degree uh, bits, power pit, a bits power fitting there to go up to the CPU and the CPU directly into, oops, sorry, directly into the res, uh, rad, sorry, and then out from the rad here into the, down into the reservoir. And then obviously pump sucking from the reservoir. So <clears throat> if I'm going to use a 90 degree fitting right here, then I'm going to have to cut a little bit right here just so it can come come directly down from there into the pump into the reservoir. Alright so we're uh, getting ready for the paint as you can see how things have panned out uh, I got the two drives in there mounted just the uh, SSD and the SATA and then below that is where the uh, the pump is going to be and then just to the left of the pump on this side is going to be the reservoir and up here is going to be um, there's the thermal take and the radiator and this is going to be the exhaust up here and in here is going to be the uh, fan controller so this up here will actually have this grate on it and the cover will come up to here and overlap this a little bit actually but everything will be coming up through there and uh, I've cut all the holes so the wires, all the wires are going to come up through here for the, the fan controller and then all the wires from the power supply are going to come out and are over here and this is where the pump is going to be mounted uh, once, I, once I get the reservoir in there so looking good now I just got to paint it so while I'm waiting for the reservoir which just got shipped today uh, these are the colors of the uh, wires 
that are going to the motherboard um, and they're like brighter than any I've ever seen this is an old school uh, this is an older case but still I've never seen colors this bright like uh, this ribbon here and these ribbons so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cap off the ends uh, with some tape and uh, go ahead and paint them all black because they're gonna be showing as they go to the motherboard and I don't I don't really want that alright so we have the uh, all the fabrications cut I had to uh, um, fit the new uh, reservoir and uh, fabricate the holes so I know where it's going it fits perfectly and I've got the pump all ready it's uh, gonna go behind excuse me it's gonna go behind like so and then the, the the reservoir is going to go here, up, and uh, so I wanted to put in all three of these pieces here, the fan controller, the big water, and a uh, DVD drive for, you know, for sellability, because a lot of clients still use DVD drives, uh, and I had to actually, because I wanted the it and push-pull config, I had to shave around uh, some of the the fan parts there, so that the fan controller would actually fit in on this side. Uh, that was a pain, but it uh, fits in there nice now, so that's good. And up here, top, the grate is going to be perfect. It looks great. Um, it overhangs just a little bit, but if you can take a look here, this is what how the whoops, this is how the front's going to go on. Uh, there we go, and so something to this effect. Anyways, it snaps in, and that over. Oops, sorry. It snaps in, and that goes uh goes over top of it, like so. So it'll look like that a little bit. Anyways, it's coming along great, and um, just waiting on a few more parts for the CPU uh, water block because I lost some of my parts, which really sucks. So now I have to wait for some more parts to come in so I can use the thermal take water block and then uh, I'm gonna sell this, uh, jazz it up with, with lights and sell it off and then start again with another one.